What it do, homies? It's your boy David. I'm back today. We out here with some more of the boys. This time we're checking out how they made the music video sick in 48 hours. Let's go ahead, shut up, and turn it up. This is the song that brought me on the boys' journey. Uh, journey. What are we doing, Josh? We're gonna talk about the new music that we just released. Sick. It's been like a year or two before we did some little meme songs for fun. We were all kind of surprised by it, especially our management. They were like, you guys are actually pulling some plays on this. You should probably do some more music. Our management literally started harassing us. And I agree. And we forced at gunpoint to do it. And we did it while we <laughs> don't have a choice. I mean, I mean, you just sit here. That's funny. <laughs> um, just sit here and think about all the new fans they gained off that, right? When I first did a reaction to the boys, it was the sick. And I it, it was so good that I thought they were a band. And of course, you guys in the comments belittled me and said, ah, oh, stupid, what it do, Dave? They are not a band. So stupid. <laughs> How much time went into this as, song? <laughs> as a matter of fact, there are still comments that I'll get on that video telling me that they are not a band writing process the first time i got molly to come over here and i was like we have to fucking do something dude molly's power is out so he can't join us today yeah, yeah. To he's living off a diesel felt. generator right now he's become the very thing that he hated he has become mexican <laughs> what? <laughs> you can say that not me the first recording we did so the first lyrics was on the 27th of what? august how long did it take you juicy to write your lyrics <laughs> What happened to I Juicy's can actually backdrop look. looks Didn't you so write much yours nicer at like 3 than it does now? It's a random ass f***ing... Those are so some lively. 3 a.m. lyrics if I ever heard them, dude. Hold that shit up in my chest, boy. I'm about to turn <laughs> to blue. Turn blue. So I think I wrote mine like two weeks before I came to Australia. Literally everyone had theirs done except me. I just saw <laughs> people talking about it and I was like... Ah, so they, they shot it like in 12, Australia. And I was like, fine. And I just sat down on my computer and just stared at it and yeah i got mine done literally like a couple weeks before we went to melbourne did you expect us like to actually like them enough to be like yo we gotta put this as the ending of the song i put on the other part because i was just freestyling in fl studio because the, uh, i the, was having the, fun the slow part <laughs> yeah the slow part catch your grandma at the walmart i had no clue that it would be in the original <laughs> it's funny um i think at the end of the day i did like juicy's maybe i mean Everybody surprised me on this one. Everybody did. But I think that the, at the tagline on my title, on my reaction to it, the grandma one is the one that stuck out to me. So uh, glad to see that that stuck out to the rest of the boys as well. You just included it in the, the first take I heard. And I was like, damn, this goes hard. And you were like, really? Is this? And we were like, everyone was like, no, we're keeping wow. that in. I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. in the end, it was like definitely a really cool decision. But in the moment, it was Where's like 6 a.m. And I was disassociating and I, I hit a key NFL studio and it pitched the backing track. And I was like, this goes hard. Catch your grandma at the Walmart. So we basically had a deadline to have this song out by October 31st. And <laughs> it's the end of September and it, we don't have anything recorded yet. And I'm like getting hammered. <laughs> 2 a.m. dude getting hammered and then Josh is like bro you need to fucking, you need to get your shit done you need to get your lyrics done and I waited until the next morning I literally woke up I had to get under the influence to write all of my lyrics the influence of what 14 energy drinks you send over a two under minute and rap with 5,000 is that words why his bars <laughs> <laughs> Eddie's first iteration was was a whole song. You get yeah. whole song. Hey, hey, he was like, "Yeah, I wrote this. Let me know what you think." Him. I was like, "Holy f okay, shit!" I will neither confirm nor deny what I was under the influence of, but. The yeah, song came out spitting. and then we get to Melbourne and we have to come up with the chorus because we we're supposed to all be recording our lines in a studio that day, that, that day. day. And we had no chorus 6 p.m. We got to be at the studio at 6 p.m. <laughs> to record our shit and we don't have a chorus. And meanwhile, I'm on a plane. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm not even there. I had zero part writing it. I was on a plane. I didn't even know what was happening. Oh, drop wow. your bags and we're like, drop the bags, get to the studio. I get off the plane. They're like, we finished the chorus. And you guys literally pick me up so, and so shed my stuff <laughs> off of me and carry Take me that off. Get that off. We have to get to the studio right get now. And we're we're going right now. And I'm like, we're going where? <laughs> <laughs> like you were meeting people for the like first time. And we're like, okay, that's fine. I just remember being like really, really nervous about my lyrics because josh was like hey bro it's time and i'm like oh okay it's like, time you need to buy and they're like now and i went 
Okay. I remember Josh's message to narrator saying, narrator, you literally wrote Green Gang in 30 minutes. I need you to spend 30 minutes and get, oh, get wow. us a couple of verses. And yep. then he sends like the most basic verses back. And we're like, bro, you need to expand on that, please. I was sitting here with Molly, right? When we like recorded, because Molly was really nervous about like putting himself out there with the vocals, but pumped them up a lot. And then when he got into it, he got into it. And then he was like, yeah, he loved it. And I was like, man, I've been harassing these other dudes about it, but I know as soon as we put up something that we've done, they're going to get inspired. Yeah. And I reckon it was like a couple days See later, Eddie, works. that you were like, <laughs> send us like a novel of lyrics. Yes, yeah, has. And, and the thing about it is that, you know, I, I see here and I think about, you know, I struggle to write any type of lyrics. I actually have a couple of songs on this channel that I've done uh, that are more animated anime related you know what i mean but i struggle to write bars but these guys got to be creative like in and out all day so while they may not be rappers the creativity to write stuff you know you know it's 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 going to spark and plus they got crazy synergy between each other so i like hearing this story it's pretty nice i was like all right here we go i was in the car with eddie and he started playing the snippet that you guys sent you didn't say what it was or if you did i didn't hear you and i was like who was that and you're like, that was Josh and Molly's part. And I was like, what? And then I, I felt the, the, the f***ing Pressure. anvil getting closer above my head. <laughs> the shadow the shadow grew under my feet. Should we have a look at the behind the scenes of the music video? Because the music video was... We'd never been part of that higher production thing before, I think. We just paid this Must dude, have been crazy. Zach. He's super cool. Shout out to Zach. Shout out Zach. Thank you, He's thank you, Zach. absolutely Directed epic. Directed by Zach. Zach on Instagram. He went and, and looked at our videos and tried to fit each of our parts with our personalities and stuff. It was really cool to step foot yeah. into a pro an actual professional scene. To wrap it all up before we go into job. the music video, the entirety of the song was the, the writing and the producing and the recording of the song was so hectic. We spent like two, two three hours on the chorus. Juicy was getting off the plane. We get to the studio and we're figuring out how to record this chorus and put it together with the producer and we have a three hour limit at the studio meanwhile me narrator and juicy still have to record all of their all of our parts it was the most hectic experience <laughs> trying to get this uh, music together it, it was nerve-wracking too it literally got to the point where i had to step out because i was having yeah. a panic attack. narrator was having anxiety attacks and we he had to like take water and go outside and and i was i was so overwhelmed by everything i was like dude i i my it's body crazy. was shutting it's down. Crazy well, it's crazy. It's pretty off, daunting to recording in a proper studio because, especially yeah. when you have a whole gaggle of motherfuckers with you, because yeah. you're in a glass hamster cage while like 10 people are looking through a little window at you. You're expected to uh, you dance, know. dance, monkey. Especially when none of us have that kind of experience. Well, yeah, 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 exactly. yeah. We, we walk in, the dude has like gold records on the wall, and we're like, <laughs> we're really in over, in over our head right now. I made one mistake. And that was the studio. We've got it booked for three hours. As long as we have the lyrics done beforehand, it's going to take 10 minutes. We walk in, say our shit, and walk out. That is not what happened. We just <laughs> said to the dude straight up, like, hey, this is not our forte. We don't know what the f we're doing. Feel free nope. to tell us when we're doing shit. I'm glad they were honest with you. He was really if, cool, man. He was if cool. something like, sucks, let Zach. us know. And he was like, okay. Oh, no. I think I got thrown in the lion's who did, den first. Wait, and who did they say their music producer was? Zach shot the video. I must have missed it, who their music producer is, but shout out to them, right? Uh, because you do have those snotty producers, right? Who, it makes sense, right? You don't want to waste their time and everything, but when somebody just comes out to you and says they're completely new at this, you know, you got some of them like, nah, man, I don't want to deal with this. I got other paying clients and everything that know what they're doing. I can make way more money. I'm glad they, I'm glad they took their time because look at the result. You know what I mean? It came out fantastic. And it was really nerve wracking. And then after a couple of takes, I got really comfortable and I was like, okay, I can do this. We can do this. What the f was that? that <laughs> Not even five hard. seconds saying, and the brush was hitting the gritty. Kevin in the suit, by the way. Anyone who yeah, be oh, Kevin, okay. all instances of the music video, Kevin, Kevin the, gritty. the brush, and it wasn't yep. planned. He was just there, and Zach said, "You." <laughs> <laughs> Kevin was like, you. <laughs> this shoot was like one of the longest days in recent memory just 15 hours like we all went and ordered wow. our verses except me because mine was really long but eddie was last nonetheless and he had to wait the entire 15 hour day to do his 
So until then, you had nothing to do. From 9.30 a.m. all the way to 12.30 a.m. And I'm thinking, nothing. oh, because no one told me what my... They just said, oh, you're doing the Blair Witch, but no one told me exactly how I was going to do it. And Zach was being... Um, the director was being real being real mysterious about my part. He didn't really <laughs> give me much. And I Very didn't know what to expect. Blair Witch activity. And I'm like, oh, I can't wait mysterious. to be directed, bro. Let's see what the... What what Here's they got in store for me? And then it's like I wait all the way till yeah, midnight. Everybody like takes hours for their specific take, and then it gets to me. He pulls out a VHS camera with night vision and a flashlight, and goes, "Here, hold this. There's the woods over there. Go have fun. Go, go walk." That was it. Hey, By the way, this is like it's like an hey. hour out of Melbourne. We got up at nine a.m. So for like an hour, hour and a half, and we're just stupid. in the sticks, man. The Australian bush, dangerous animals. It's just like we get Snakes in some dude's house. That's what I was scared of the most. Spiders, the animals, dude. Anacondas. I thought I was gonna get like attacked by a pack of koalas or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. I fell asleep in the car because I was still so sick from packs. Because we'd done like meet and greets mm. and met like literally met like hundreds and hundreds of people. I am just now getting unsick from packs. I was this day of this yeah. shoot was like the sickest I was of the yep. whole trip, and I was f***ing dying, dude. I hung out for 15 hours just to have a camera handed to me so that I could go and do my own thing in the woods. Dose was waiting for me. It scared the shit out of me. And I was like, oh, that's why you were being mysterious about this, Zach. Eddie didn't know about that. On top of it, none of us knew about anything of Eddie's part because Zach thought that we would tell Eddie. At one point, Dose just disappears. And I'm like, yeah. oh, I haven't seen Dose for like an hour. Yeah, I was waiting for my makeup because everybody had a makeup session. And then I go up to the lady and I was like, is it my turn yet? And she grabs the chair and leaves the makeup room. I'm like, why the f is she leaving? She goes, I will be right back. And then she leaves for an hour. And then she finally comes back. And then Zach hands me the camera. And I'm like, what about my makeup? He goes, oh, you're good. And she puts a booger on my nose. So that, like, <laughs> to, if, she it takes, a, she takes some sort There's of, she puts a booger in my nose. There's some fake booger in my nose. And then Dose was the one with the makeup. This is really cool right. seeing this. Dude. <laughs> That's an awesome picture right there, man. Holy shit. Narrator, you were channeling something that if entire day at the asylum when the you were in that wheelchair. Pew, pew. Music video, Zooming around like again. we'd stop filming, like his take would be done, and you would just be like wheeling around like wee. You were wheelies and shit. <laughs> like it was crazy. For context, we did two days of filming. We did the first day was all of us in the asylum doing our our, our, our takes inside of the uh inside of the padded room. And then the second day was when we did all of our movie Individual scenes ones. individually. Eddie, um why don't you tell us about what this dude said to you? <laughs> Wait, should, should, so these guys <laughs> <laughs> they were they were amazing guys, by the way. Yeah, they were uh, awesome. Oh, 100%. They were yeah. f***ing great. These are the extra extra actors that were hired to play the orderlies. When director yells <laughs> action, these guys are actually yelling at us as they're holding us to try and get into character. So they're like cussing yep. at us. And I didn't expect that when they grabbed me, they were going to start shouting all of this shit to me. And every time that we would do a retake and they would say action, they would say different things. Like, oh, you think you're so f***ing cool with that long hair of yours huh you fucking person you, uh, pretty boy pretty boy uh, that's a nice way to say it but they were saying mm -hmm. some really fucked up shit some not youtube worthy words that's insane oh my bad, my bad that is insane right i mean especially seeing how it went off script right you really want to terrify you that's what's up. Actors, they're acting. They're acting, and it was just weird. Acting. It was funny and weird to hear action, and they're like, rah, 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 rah. and then cut. Oh, so you're, you're from America. You're, you're from America, aren't you? <laughs> the orderly with the like really long switch. beard, I've never tasted another man's finger in my mouth more than that fucking guy, dude. So he, he went in there, he's like, oh, yeah, you know, you take your medicine. <laughs> and he was just shoving that fucking pill in my mouth, and I was like, Ugh. Act they said some really weird acting. shit too. And there's one standout thing no. that they said to Molly. I believe it was somewhere along the lines of taking him to a room and feeding him a salad. Is it, they said <laughs> something, I think that's literally what? exactly what they said. And it, it's really confronting because they're like this, right? And it's I've never been in I haven't been in a situation like that except for like when I was drinking in like high school and stuff where someone is like, yeah you like that you mother yeah we're taking you away. We're taking you <laughs> away. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile I'm responding to them. I'm like see si, tu madre puto tu madre the, the, <laughs> Yeah look at you yelling in here dude. Uh, that's not acting right there bro that took that one personal 
Arsenal. I took what he said. You were looking at the platoon, right not at what they were yelling at you. <laughs> yelling, yelling at. Right there, I actually, uh, I actually sprained all three of my middle toes right in that scene right there where oh, I kicked shit. back. I actually kicked my foot into the ground so hard that the bottom of my toes were purple. Then afterwards, I was sitting down with, uh, with Joe and the other guys like from a different hall. You could see them like dragging Molly across and all I hear is, oh yeah, 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 you, you bear loving f yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> you bear loving f Yeah, we're taking you away. We're taking you away, little boy. You bear loving f We're gonna take you to the back room and feed you a salad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so that was those dudes, Dude, and that was, was super crazy. cool, man. Was crazy. Wait, pause. Let's remember here, Eddie had eye surgery. <laughs> yeah. Not too long, not too long before this. Yeah. And so when really? I go to Australia, my left eye is still very blurry. And then we get to this part. I can't see with my right eye because my right eye is over the microphone. And I have to read the lyrics on my iPhone that's over on the left side. And I have to try and read the lyrics with my blurry eye. Somehow Ooh, I was like, able like... to make it through reading the lyrics with my blurry eye, but it was man. Oh yeah. I was seeing in 360p. He was seeing, he was seeing like video when we shot with up a potato. Here, by the way, they were like, all right, Josh, go in. I go in there. I say like two words. I'm like, <laughs> stop, stop, stop. And they have, there's a, there's a, there's 20, there's 20 staff on set. And I'm like, okay, sorry. I'm like nervous as f I never done vocal stuff at all. And it was quite vulnerable. Not only I felt that, very it's vulnerable like, put myself out there. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, totally. 100%. And then on top of it, we show up zero experience with this. And there's a whole fuck. There's like 20 people, like you said. Yep. And it's yeah. like hundred thousand dollar like cameras and hundred thousand dollar cameras and like you got bro. one guy on the focus knob. All he does yeah. is the focus knob. That, you yeah, got one great. guy just looking at the monitor. It is like a full scale production, oh, wow. and we have zero. Those of you in the um, oh they oh okay, I guess that makes sense. You got a guy that shoots and a guy that does the focusing performing experience, yeah. and they're like, go. And then there's just all these people just like yeah it was it was really weird being on like the other side of that i feel like it was the same as the studio though where once you start going yeah, yeah once you're you like everyone's going. pumping you up you know no one's like whoa yeah. that's really gay and weird yeah, like, it's not uh, like a YouTube etiquette. video they're like okay stop rolling shot okay rolling and action <laughs> hey it's dub daddy on the wait can we start again and that was like three times before i was like I actually don't know my lyrics the amount at of, all. Well, I so so my it's, lyrics. it's funny on actually a whole lot of my videos, there are times where I mess up my intro and, and during the editing, because I do most of my editing at nighttime, um, I forget to cut out that intro. So I'm not going to tell you guys which videos it was, but it's definitely in quite a few of them. The day before that, when we were recording in the studio, so I didn't make an effort to memorize them. And then Maybe from my one. perspective, I'm like, OK, I'm looking forward to Josh going first so that I can learn from what he's doing. And then Josh gets kicked out after a couple of tries because he forgot <laughs> his lyrics. I got kicked out of the padded room, man. Wasting Zach time. said, go memorize your lyrics. You're going last. Josh is going to memorize his lyrics and Zach goes, Eddie, you're up. I'm like, yep. oh, shit. I don't know my lyrics either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow it ended up working out. I remembered them. I fucking loved that padded cell, man. Yeah, you, you felt a little too natural in there. I'm clinically insane. They brought me to a hospital, uh, to a, what is this place, a jail? Are you horny? <laughs> is that Joe Lush and music got a giant AirPod? This is where, we, this is where me and Molly recorded our lyrics. In the, with the, in, we filmed a, Record our lyrics in Sydney with Why Swindale. He's really cool. Well, he produced the song, so shout oh, out to we Swindale go. as well. Swindale. Having Joe in the background, Toasted Shoes, nice constantly spouting memes, really, really actually made everything really Ableton difficult. Ableton Gang, okay. Especially when we tried writing the chorus. I personally like FL Studio, but hey, I respect the Ableton Gang. Chorus. Holy shit. He says dank memes. Yeah, he's the guy who gets his head thrown into the ground. Dank memes. Smack. Wow. Smack. I, I heard Smack that. him into the dirt, dude. That was thick. Joe was Whoa, actually man. like shocked, too. Talking shit at the club while I'm talking shit at the club. No, it's talking shit at the club while I'm taking shits at the club. I like the dynamic Ooh. of that exchange right there. Uh, yeah, I like your lyrics, bro. With the headphones on, he's just yelling at you to do shit. That's pretty much how we like make videos, man. And the Sorry if you guys hear some thumping. I guess my neighbors are being real crazy right now. I keep, I keep looking back because I think somebody's knocking at my door, but... I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Makeup was actually, you know, the worst thing was every day, Molly come up to me and being, or any of us, I seemed to talk to a couple of people and be like, wow, have they done your makeup? I'm like, no. 
So Molly's just going around being like, I can't tell if you're actually f***ed up and tired and look horrible or if they've already had you in the makeup room. <laughs> <laughs> That's good there makeup. you go, it's confirmed. Everyone wants to know the heights. There you go. That's, it's, that's... Juicy's f***ing five feet. <laughs> really? Oh, you look like he's... Oh, okay, never mind. And Josh, Josh is, is almost four. four. <laughs> Bro, Josh doesn't... He looks deranged. <laughs> I forgot. One quick. <laughs> This poor like down. audio recording dude, I don't think he had any idea who we were. And every time someone goes up, it's totally different. Like yeah. narrator goes up and he's like a voice actor. When a new person went in, he'd hear our lines. He would mm. just laugh his ass off. Because it's dude. something completely yeah. like, different. Like, I remember him being like, uh, do that goldfish line, I think it was. Surely that can't yeah, be right. Yeah, it's like goldfish like, no. thing again. <laughs> Start from kick your sister in her f***ing face. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, okay. And the dude's like, yeah, he's sitting there like cracking up while he's like, he's just putting the lines down. I think my favorite part of the whole studio was when you do your first singing part, Juicy, and it's very chill and like mm -hmm. you do those couple lines and then we had a break because he didn't have to adjust the levels for each person. And then he's like, oh, you know, just... Oh, yeah, that makes part. sense. I want to be ready for that next one. And we're like, you're not ready for the next part. You're not ready for this Turn part. down the gain. <laughs> yeah, turn the gain down. You went from like, I don't really know how to kick your mother off. And the dude was like, whoa, okay. He like, hey, I'll sit next to him. He like pushes me out the way and grabs the gain knob and turns it down. <laughs> 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 Brisket boy. The hey, harmony part, hey. like when we wrote it, we'll, we all we had was the lyrics. We hadn't practiced how it would sound. We didn't know if we'd harmonize at all. The moment that we all came out of that little area and goes, hey, and he just looks up and goes, you guys are going to want to hear this. We did them as separate tracks to see like, who would work well like together. It sounded bad. And then at yeah. the, right at the end, he's like, why don't you just all go in there? Just all go in. Yeah. And then fucking <laughs> Molly farts, dude. God in, damn it. In a soundproof room, the star. You had to wait for that to clear Dank out. Dank memes himself. Dank memes himself. You know what the funniest thing about people in wheelchairs is? That they literally have legs. Like, stand, dude. Are you kidding me? Massive Sigma male moment. Literally spitting facts. I'm just saying, <laughs> that's what they're there for. Classic, whoa, classic whoa, juicy. Whoa, 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 trolling. Mother. Video shoot. We're in a hotel. So this is the next day. Creating the shining. So I'm gonna be in a bathroom, and there's gonna be an axe. They, they had like a prop door. door, right? Yeah, but they had one. Which is why it was so valuable that they didn't destroy it too much. Kevin, stop smashing the door. Stop, stop, stop. Because Kevin couldn't hear anything over the sound of him smashing the door. Yep. So Zach would be like, stop destroying the door. <laughs> Little did Kevin know he was going to be sealed in that thing forever. How long? He was made aware of this like what 20 minutes before this yeah like we literally the steps on set and goes hey you're wearing this costume and he goes okay <laughs> that's what it actually sounded like for shooting the scenes at the scream that's, here that's, yeah that's yeah actually yeah very that impressive. scream right there so zach is like give me a scream you just hear the screaming in the back of this bar <laughs> <laughs> That's when he punched Molly in the face three times. Yeah. Yep. Decked him through the door three times, dude. There was one punch, though, where he fully connected with Molly's nose through the door. Oh. Kevin's actually blind for this stuff. You know what I mean? He's yeah. just like. When you're wearing that thing, you can't oh, really yeah, see you, very you well. And he's shit. punching through a door. And one of the punches, dude, like, it was like a fucking heat seeking missile. It just went straight in and hit Molly right in the nose. Dang. The brush is like the mask, man, because no matter who's in it, it takes on a personality of the suit every time. That mascot you know I mean? is, 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 is <laughs> so iconic, bro. controls you, you don't control the suit. Yep. There's some it's like, so weird, chaotic, like, borderline... Like... See, look at this. <laughs> what is it? I've never seen this. Hey. It's a gritty, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Yada, 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 some about a square. New meme juice box about to go like the witch that's a sitch halloween night about to wake up in a ditch and i'm stacking
backing up the Nero. Hey. Eddie had to tell me how to spell. Oh, bro. I've listened to the song, you know, a whole bunch of times and everything since I've done a reaction to it. But every time, every time, come on. El De Niro. And Goldfish. It, it, it's fire. There you go. I don't really know. See, Juicy had the... He had the most sauce out of my all favorite of them. part about this entire segment is that i get messages and i see comments and people asking like what is after the canoe catch your grandma at the walmart walmart <laughs> gonna catch the fade i don't really give a fuck. i'm just trying to get paid i'll smoke your granddad too if he even looks my way i will kick your little sister in a motherfucking face that's that shit you learn in florida when Bro. you smoke I think this might have been what this is the part definitely. This is a wild line, by the way. Yeah. Damn. What? The K2 line? Yeah. Boy, I'm at it. Holding my chest. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun doing stuff like that. Like completely joke shit. Like I feel like it's even easier to do completely joke shit. But yeah, the, the idea it's behind the song is we too. want to do something around Halloween because we know like you know the, the horror stuff hits hard, and we wanted to do merch, and we actually had a horror video <laughs> planned, but we're having trouble booking horror places. They've heard about us, and we're banned from a lot of some places in Australia now. Yeah, fun boys oh, fact: wow. we're banned from most haunted locations in Australia. Yeah, dang, I didn't even think about that. Mm. So, and they all know Price who we are and don't fame. want to talk to us. All because Juicy sucked off a ghost in the jail video. Dude, I stepped on one dead little kid's grave and everyone's f***ing tweaking. <laughs> <laughs> There's a uh, Brit edits for this my second this channel. Brought him on for the trip and we put a big old pussy on his head. <laughs> 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 the hussy. No, I got a funny story with Brit though. Initially when we we're like Zach's like we need a dead guy. Brit's like I'll do it. I'm like, he'll do it. So he goes up to the makeup lady and she genuinely awesome lady, very sweetly asked, is it okay if I shave part of your head to put the prosthetic on? <laughs> when he's bald. <laughs> and Brit's like slick bald. He thought she was joking. He's like, uh, no, it's not actually. I just got my hair done. And she's like, oh, um, uh, okay. Uh, well we can do uh, this. Uh, and he's like, no, 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 no. You can shave my, <laughs> you can <laughs> shave, shave my head. <laughs> yeah. It would have been a no for me, unfortunately, guys. He's getting ready for the Dahmer scene. It'd be five yeah, this years was, this down was the drain. Totally be growing my dreads. As well, wasn't it? It was like, ah! yeah. So this is the director, Zach. Yeah. Because he was getting a little too into the Dahmer role, and we we're like, you should like, you should throw that in there. Oh man. That was okay. awesome. Wait, wait, I have a crazy fucking story with that. During that whole scene, because I think that took the longest out of the day. So that was like Easily. good like four hours or something like that. One point, the knife's pulled out. So the costume lady's like, this is the knife we're gonna use. Here you go, Kevin. He's in the brush costume. It's fucking nighttime. It's not nearly as bright as it looks in the shot. It's like pitch black outside. Mm. And Kevin's in a brush costume and he's holding a knife. So we're like, Zach, what's the play, man? And he goes, yeah, so Kevin's gonna chase you, grab you, and then do this and stop. They forgot the fake knife, right? The prop knife. So they but had to use a real He didn't realize knife. till after, oh my goodness. like midway through. So he's telling me what we're gonna do. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, Kevin, I really need you not to stab me. And if you do stab me somewhere like on like my hip, so it'll just be funny for a video and I can go get it stitched up. He's like, okay. Mm -hmm. We go to do it. I'm like, Zach, I'm really nervous. He's like, why? I'm like, we're using a real knife. He's like, we're using the prop knife. And then I showed him the knife and it's just a real fucking knife. And he's like, where's the prop knife? This is a real fucking knife. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to trust Kevin to chase me down, grab me by the neck in a brush costume and do this yeah. and stop. Yeah. And, so and, and, and mind you, like he said, you can't, he can't really see well in there. So you got to kind of just feel it i suppose scream was genuine yeah i was terrified yeah. dude oh yeah shouts out to kevin for not stabbing me in the chest almost had an Alex a Baldwin moment this was awesome yeah believable fall yeah how many times do you have to retake this part narrator because you were dragging yourself down the dirt so many times uh they asked me they're like do you want like a blanket and stuff like that because we can do that but it like the scene won't look as good because we'll have to like do some tricks with a camera and i'm like just j if you need me to fall i i will fall on rocks and they were like 
Okay, but I, I fell about like five different times. Look at Josh in the background, dude. Oh, look at you, dude. <laughs> what is we did so many takes like this that we'd just like be doing random. Sh there was one where we were like choking each other. There's one where Eddie was just beating the f out of me with Molly, bro. I'm just glad they they left the face grab in. <laughs> I accidentally grabbed Eddie's face. Shaq grabbing a basketball, dude. <laughs> Afterwards, I was like, I'm sorry to whoever's face I grabbed. And he was like, it was me. And then I look at the footage. Yeah. And he grabbed your fucking face like a just basketball. A Wait, look at the face pool. right afterwards. Keep playing. I just kept going, man. <laughs> Dude, I'm proud of Molly's part, man. Because that, that's like the first time that Molly's been on, on a track like that. I'm proud of him for pulling through and actually sounding pretty good. good. Especially Not some of his lyrics, that. like, call that trick and treat. I was like, oh, fuck. Okay, Molly. One of the first ideas well, I think, for naming the song was Trick and Treat. We actually named it Sick in about 30 seconds because we had to name it in about 10 minutes. <laughs> this entire song was put together literally last minute at every step sick. of the way. It was actually like the last 10 minutes of being on set that day. We were in the little like makeup shed. We are like, F we gotta name the song. The producer of the video sent one of his henchmen out in a f***ing tree man costume <laughs> to scare him. <laughs> he doesn't know it's Doze. I would hate to be Eddie right now. And Eddie doesn't know he's out there. Eddie doesn't know he's out there. Is that the first time you said he fuck? He scared the shit out of Dude, me, bro. I heard, I heard bushes rustling and I heard you say, what the f***? And then I seen you running and the little light was just up in the trees. <laughs> he f***ing scared me. You'd almost guess that part was was planned with how good you panned the camera onto Doze. Yeah. Yeah. But to everyone watching, that was 100% not. It was edited together very nicely, right? But what actually happened was that I'm sitting there and and I'm I'm just I'm I'm just breathing, right? I'm getting into the character, I'm like, ah, 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 and I'm and I'm doing. I I turn the camera around. I do the line uh, from the Blair Witch where I say I'm being hunted and shit. I start running, and then I'm like. I think I got enough footage. Hold on. I really got to take a piss. Sorry, boys. And then I like point the camera down. The raw footage, you can see me taking a piss. You can see my stream and everything. Just like, I'm just sitting there pissing in the dark, hoping I don't get bit by a fucking snake or scratched by a koala. And I'd have to suck the venom out of your Bro. <laughs> uh, all right. And then, uh, I finished taking a piss, right? And then I'm like... All right, boys. Sorry about that. Um, have fun editing that. And then I, I hear a noise from my left and I pan the camera over and it's Doze. He was watching me take a piss the entire time, dude. And so it was edited in a way that like makes it look like I just turn away. <laughs> yep. but I was pissing right before Doze jump scared me. Doze has been forced to do some pretty f***ed up stuff in his original editing role. Including seeing our c***s. Multiple times. <laughs> Multiple. <laughs> yeah, that's actually Jesus kind of creepy. Man, it looks cool, man. Oh, yeah. That's creepy. It looks cool, man. It looks yeah, like someone from Vogue some badass or makeup. Yeah. It almost kind of so looks cool. Like uh, he drove home oh, like right. that. Little, little Viking there. <laughs> I think the craziest thing about that process, other than the fact that we all got to do it, is that you film so much and it's condensed down so much. It's like, like 15 hour days. Like so much filming. And then it's like five minutes or six five minutes. minutes. Yeah, the yeah. part where I'm crouching next to the TV took like probably an hour to film. And then it's like 10 seconds. That was a song. If you haven't heard or seen it and you're watching this channel, I'm frankly surprised. But yeah, we just wanted to talk about it. because be it was, surprised you know, too. It was an amazing experience. Yeah. And if you would like more, Make sure to tell us down below if you're digging it. And if you'd like more, also buy a brush plush because that money. This just in <laughs> trade offer from money. Juicy Fruit Snacks. You give me money. I give you brush plush. Bobber. That dude got so popular. I think it's oh, safe to TikTok say that it was trade offer one thing. of the craziest experiences ever for all of us. Huge bonding moment too. How far we've come with everything. It was super awesome to make that for you guys and to be able to make it together. This Mexican boy never expected all of this. Mm -hmm. I don't think we'd expect VR chat to turn into what everything that we've been oh, up to. Oh, no. Once again, I was delivering pizzas like it's crazy three how years life ago. Works. Thank you. Thank you for that. Let's ignore the fact that it's the sick collection, but it's got the Green Gang lyrics on it. Okay, let's just ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> and the video. And the video. Uh, shit, shit, shit. Yeah, I know you guys was telling me to react to this. Um, and, and honestly, I don't know why I haven't done it before. They got so much content going all around, but it was actually nice to get kind of like this in depth and, and see how much trouble and how much actual pain that it looks like they experienced shooting it. And then, of course, seeing the end result, uh, which of course made me a fan of the boys. So. This is the end of this video. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and subscribe. Dave's out.